Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought you were going to say just even though it's the Civil War. Yeah, well, it, 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 is, it is a, we, we, we handle everything logistically like it's a road game. We'll go down the night before and uh, do our sh usual pre-game logistics. But mentally, emotionally, uh, spiritually, this is an important game for not only us, but for Beaver Nation. So... Uh, we come at it a little bit differently from that standpoint. Speaking of Beaver Nation, do you look at like what the Ducks and Beavers do in other sports and then maybe certain people think, hey, basketball is our sport. We, we need to get them in this sport. Uh, well, I, I, I always feel like we need to get them in basketball. And then the other um, sports, I try and enjoy the event part of it which is hard to do when you're in the midst of your own. You're just uh, scratching and clawing for every, every single win. So um, I have become a, a product of my environment. I am, I am looking forward to the Civil War game. I know how important it is, and I know how badly we want to win it. Kevin McChain seems to have some feelings about the rivalry. Did you get him up and, and Talk to the team. No, no, we don't. I don't have to do that. I mean, for, first of all, Kevin talks to the team whenever he wants, and he and and we all understand his uh, his familial emotions toward the folks down the road. So um, we 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 as much as we want to win it for ourselves and for Beaver Nation and for the team, we really want him to go out with a win down there. Emotions and confidence coming off the sweep of the LA schools. Can you see it in your players this week? Uh, are you confident? Sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, for for a minute there, we sort of lost our swagger, and uh, and I'm I've saw it come back. I, I actually saw it come back. Sorry about this. I forgot to turn my phone off. Um, I I actually saw it come back Friday after we won on Thursday, and then. I, I then again saw it on Saturday, and and you know we had a good practice Monday and have had good practices this week. Uh, having said that, we are also very focused because we know that this is a road game first and foremost, and we need to pick up a road win. We need to play better on the road. So um, um, we're we're quietly confident. I think I, I put it that way. Combine that need to get the road win with the rivalry aspect and playing a first place team, what kind of statement does this opportunity present for you guys to make to the league? Put that way, I would say, you know, our statement to the league is every night we play. Because we everybody sees everybody play in this league, and I'm sure that people are watching us and thinking we gotta play that team. That hadn't been the case here before. So um, irrespective of the Civil War game, we want people to be worried about playing us because we're getting to be better. Um, so that's irrespective of that. Now, from our standpoint, uh, this is an opportunity for us to move up in the standings. That's, what we're, that's, that's all we care about. We want to win the next game we're playing. So we want to move up in the standings. Uh, we don't want to hear about you could be five and three. We want to be five and three. So now we got to start winning some more games to make up for being three and five. The uh, defensive intensity this last weekend was so it, it, it was a lot like the beginning of the year, and rotations were good, and, and on the traps and the one three one was was that a product of any adjustments that were made, or was that an emotional thing? No, it was more of a focus. Uh, thing, for lack of a better word, we had sort of lost our focus on defense because we had gotten so good on offense. And I, th I spoke to some of you about this. When you score as effectively as we do, uh, speaking as a former player and now as a coach, you tend to let your defense slide a little bit. And, and we were, obviously, we're scoring quite nicely and we let our defense slide. We needed to refocus on that. Last week we did a terrific job during practice and it showed up in the game. We're still focused on it this week and hopefully it'll show up on Sunday. Would, would you say the players talked about it second time around 
the floor is a non-factor other than maybe the new people. Do you have any feelings on that? Yeah, no, I th it was a non-factor for us last year. I mean, there could have been a call where they didn't call a backcourt because they couldn't see the line, but uh, as I've said all along, even before they changed it and made it more, but they made it clearer, I guess. I haven't been down there, but apparently you can see it better from television. Um, you, if you're down on the court, you can see the line. Secondly, as I've stated many times, when you played this game long enough, you should never step out of bounds and you should never step back court because spatially you know where every spot on that court is. So I, I didn't buy the, the, the excuses of, yeah, you can't see that line. Can you kind of talk about the job that Dana Allman's done with the Ducks since he's been there? Yeah, I mean, he's he's a great coach. I mean, he's got uh, gobs of experience and, and a track record that shows he's a really good coach. And, uh, you know, uh, having the uh, season that he's having with so many defections has been really impressive. So, um, um, you know, we, 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 got, we have our hands full, both from a coaching standpoint and from a playing standpoint. What makes the Ducks so tough? Why are they yeah. spot that I think that they do a really good job executing their game plan. Secondly, they don't get rattled. That's the a product of being a mature veteran team. You know, when the games have this ebb and flow to them and you cannot panic when you go down. And they've been down a couple of times this year and fought their way back to win games. Um, and then thirdly, they've got good players you know this is about players I don't care what anybody says I mean you know you take the coaches out of it the players have to play the game they have good players did that UCLA game really impress you the way they <clears throat> first half looked like they were about to get run out of their gym and then they I wasn't surprised. I mean, I you know, when I was watching the tape of that game, I was not surprised that, uh, you know, the, uh, it's hard to play down there and it's hard to keep a lead down there. So I wasn't surprised. That is a good team, and we're going to have to play our best basketball in order to beat them on their court. What are their strengths? What are they like, what are they like to do? Uh, like I said, it's, it, uh, they don't get rattled. Um, they execute their game plan all the time. They never go outside of what they're trying to do. Um, and when you have a group of older guys, you don't worry about sort of the little things like the intangible things, lack of focus, um, forgetting assignments, things of that nature. These guys are you know, they're, they're going to be zeroed in, and it's a Civil War game, so. They're, they're all of the above. They're all of the above. They have size, they have speed, and um, they can play in the half court. I mean, you know, they're, they're a very sound team. Do you guys kind of come in with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder after last year getting swept? Um, probably, but I, I think we've had a chip on our shoulder all season because of last season. So it's not just this game, it's every game. You know, we're, we have a chip on our shoulder from three weeks ago. So um, I think that our, our mental attitude is right. We just have to execute now. I, you know, uh, as I've said many times with these guys, they believe they can be in every single game they play. Then it comes down to execution. Uh, earlier this year, you kind of sometimes mentioned that the guys kind of feel the pressure of Beaver Nation and trying to play well for the fans. Right. Is that even higher this week? or? Probably. Probably. Yeah. I mean, this, is, this game gets more coverage. It, it's more important to the fans. Uh, I, th uh, I have commented uh, many times when I got hired, I was at the – press conference and a little old lady came up to me and said I don't care how many games you you lose just beat the Ducks and um, that's kind of stuck stuck with me and with the team so yeah there's there's I won't say probably there's more pressure from Beaver Nation to win this game. Can you talk about the job Jared's done for you this year? He leads the scoring steals and has to be a leading candidate for the year. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to whammy his chances by talking about him being Player of the Year. But he's done a lot of really good things for us this year. And and what's really been impressive is that he's grown his game each year. And he's only a junior. And when he came to Oregon State, he was not a, an All Pac-10 candidate, let alone player. He has worked on his craft, and uh, what we what we like to say it on our staff: your best player helps you win games that you can't normally win. And uh, he he helped us with Texas, um, and uh, you know we had never beaten UCLA. He helped us with that game, uh, so the, he's. He is holding up his end of the bargain. Now we have to do more as a team so that he's, he doesn't have to carry us all the time.